My name is Ansem Grundhofer from Disney Research, and I'm presenting a practical method for fully automatic intrinsic camera calibration using directionally encoded light. I assume you're all very familiar with camera calibration. I mean, it's a fundamental task for most of the computer vision applications. You ex estimate the extrinsics as well as the intrinsics, and one class of calibration method for the intrinsics uses planar boards with features on it, which you use to estimate uh, correspondences between the image plane and these boards, and then to estimate the distortion parameters, uh, focal length, and principal point. And we propose a method which is uh, different to this, uh, where we uh, try to use directionally encoded light to calibrate the camera and also to estimate other properties which cannot be carried out using just a board-based calibration. So in our uh, setup, we use a high-resolution smartphone display with a very high pixel count as a back layer where we can encode each pixel and get the spatial location of it. And then in between the lens and this uh, display, we place one or multiple planes which block most of the light but are performed with tiny pinholes, which then take care to directionally encode the light which is passing through that hole. And using this configuration, we can estimate the intrinsics, all the, the properties uh, just with the, as with the standard approach, but we can also estimate other properties. I will talk about that later. So we use different configurations for wide-angle lenses. We use two different uh, planes or also colored planes where we can, for a color camera, really encode multiple planes within the same field of view. Um, you see an uh, experimental setup here. You see a DSLR with a lens, and the whole layer is just directly in front of it, and the display just a little bit below. And you can imagine that the lens is totally defocused on the distance. Usually you focus, well, up to infinity or very far away. And so what happens is each pinhole acts as a small well, pinhole camera. And if we now display gray codes on the display on the back, you get these enlarged holes, and you clearly can see that uh, you get like crisp images of the display below, um, but unfortunately it's not like uh, pinholes anymore. So we have to apply a series of post-processing steps to get the data in the right format as we need it, and then having carried out this full structured light scan, we can estimate the correspondences between these layers to the camera and then uh, fully calibrate the intrinsics. We compared it to a standard checkerboard approach for full frame lenses, uh, smartphone lenses, and a GoPro. And as you can see here in the reprojection errors, we come quite close to a reference checkerboard calibration. However, first of all, we can calibrate while the camera is totally out of focus, but we can use this approach to estimate other properties of the system as well. So since we have directionally encoded rays, we can virtually extend them and find the intersection point in space which gives us actually the, the focal distance, which means like where is actually the camera focusing at, um, just out of the system. And we compared this to ground truth measurements of the focal distance, and uh, as you can see here in the next slide, uh, you see that we can estimate these distances quite accurate. Furthermore, again, as I said, it's captured totally out of focus, and we get like uh, exit pupil projections on the uh, image sensor, and we can use this information in addition with the distance of the hole and the display to the camera to also estimate the physical size of the aperture of our system. And we compared this to a DSLR where we can just uh, change the aperture to whatever settings we want. And if you take a look at this diagram, you can see that this approach is able to really uh, estimate the physical size of the aperture also quite accurate. We think that using directional encoded light rays has a lot of potential for camera calibration. It's fully automatic. Uh, we made a prototype which we can sc you can screw on the lens, but in the future you could imagine a fully passive approach with a light field, which is more or less just a calibration filter you can maybe buy and just uh, fully calibrate your camera using this approach. That concludes my talk. Uh, I hope you can drop by at my poster. And um, while well, we are also hiring, so if you're interested uh, to become a part of Disney Research, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.